Hello, I'm Judith Silverthorne. I'm going to share a little bit about how storyteller Ray LaValle and I came to collaborate on the book Honoring the Buffalo. This picture book is based on a traditional oral story passed down through his ancestors. It is meant for people of all ages. The story speaks of the importance of the buffalo for the survival of the Plains Cree people in North America. For generations, the buffalo were plentiful, with 30 to 50 million roaming the land. Ray was from the Pie Pot Cree First Nation in Canada, near Regina, where I live. We first met when I interviewed him for a magazine article about how he was helping to bridge the cultural gap between Indigenous and non-Indigenous people. Over the years, Ray invited me to sweat lodges and ceremonies, and we occasionally worked together on projects. He expressed how concerned he was that the knowledge of the old ways was dying. One day, he asked if I would help him write down the stories before they were lost. I was honored that he chose me. We started with the buffalo, which today is still honored in ceremonies, to give thanks for the abundant gifts they gave. It is also a reminder of the way the Plains people once lived in harmony with nature. We followed traditional protocols before we began. Then, Ray related the oral stories about how every piece of the buffalo was used. Besides supplying food, their fur and hides provided shelter and clothing. The bones, sinew, and internal organs were used for tools, hunting gear, and utensils. Other parts were used for everyday life and for ceremonial objects. I consulted Ray as I wrote to ensure accuracy and appropriateness. Then we added the narration at the beginning and the end of the oral story about the boy and his grandfather. We then worked with Mike Keepness, the illustrator from the Pasqua Cree First Nation. He depicted the vibrant scenes of the old way of life. Randy Moran translated the words into Plains Cree. Jean Okamasis and Eric Wollengray were the editors. The book was originally published in English and Cree. It has since been translated into French and Cree, and most recently into German and Cree. The book is used as a resource locally, nationally, and internationally by families, community leaders, and educators from elementary schools to universities. It has won several international awards and received many accolades as one of the first books to share ancestral oral stories about the buffalo. Although Ray passed in 2016, he would have been delighted to know his dream of preserving his culture continues to be so far-reaching. If you would like more information about the book and where to purchase it in the different languages, please visit my website, judasilverthorne.ca.